Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we are going to be finalizing the rankings of all supers for good. So um, the ranking will be broken down into two parts. So your bottom five, which is most probably you're not going to use in any content. And your top ten, wherein you will be using as a beginner up until the mid part of this game. So take note that... All supers have a level cap, so don't uh, don't you know don't level them. Don't think that you could carry them through up to the end game. There will only be a certain content that you'll be bringing them. But let's take a look at who are those who are worth playing and who are those that are not. Okay, so let's start our bottom five with Afa. So Afa is for me just a you know just a collectible uh as part of his presence here in the supers not that much um you know um to talk about in terms of his skills even his passive and also his special um he's going to be a good collector item but uh only for a collector uh not not to be playable in any content Okay, so next would be Daylight Cat. So one of the bottom five. So again, he's a good, um, he's a good, you know, um, father for Snow A um, Ultra figures. But definitely in terms of his skills, they are, you, you can't really use them. They're a lot better supers than him. So also as part of his counterpart, we have here Midnight Cat. So Midnight Cat, is his counterpart and also for midnight cat we you, you, you know the skills are not that uh, you know not that good they're, they're just good for father for leveling up your figures for ultra so again both of them will not be used in part of the bottom five okay number four in the bottom five is going to be hiroshi hiroshi um very underwhelming kit um it's a random attack um, that's just his ultimate not not nothing very special very ordinary indeed and um, as you can see here even his passive and special no nothing to brag about so he is part of the bottom five as well and to round out our bottom five is Karen sad to say that Karen isn't been isn't really usable in most of the content it's really difficult to time her ultimate so strikes the enemy with the lowest health if the target is defeated continues to strike another one this is supposed to be a good skill but again it's it's really difficult to to set up that uh, you could combo or you could chain um, attacks and you know kill and uh, move to another one and probably try to make sure that everybody in the field is uh, what they call this is defeated but again this is a good ultimate but it's really really hard to pull off that is why she rounds out our bottom five okay so at number 10 in our ranking is going to be Mizuzaki. Mizuzaki, uh, she's a little bit decent actually, but there is, um, there's going to be, there are going to be better supers than her. So for ultimate, loses ten of the current health and gains a shield. I don't know why she had, she has to lose ten of her current health. Um, gains a shield and absorb damage equal to hundred percent of health. Deals great amount of damage to the current target. So again. The shield is only for her. That is her problem. But she can be a good vanguard. But again, there are a lot of better vanguards um, among supers. That is why she is in number 10. At number 9, we have here Evita. So Evita, our cleaning maid. Um, Evita does have some value depending on, you know, depending on how you're going to use her. This ultimate of his gentle guard is um, continues to bounce up for more damages, so and also reduces attack. And she also gives a shield to your figures and summon units that last ten seconds when they are created. So again, the her value I think is more on the shield that is that she is creating for everyone. So again, she is at number nine because there is a better shielder ahead of her. We have here Ume Mizuno, um, the only healer in the supers where she really excels at what she does. She only heals um, the figure right in front of her and um, she also heals herself. So 
that is actually she she's going to be special um especially if you're going to be starting out this game you will need a healer early game and i think she has value up until you get um you get a couple of old shot uh, healers that you can level up especially if you get zephyr but again she has value because of her healing and because of her self heal so that is why she is at number eight at number seven you have here Dolores. So Dolores is going to be one of the vanguards that uh, you might consider using for your team, especially when you're with Galatea and if you lack uh, certain units. Let's take a look at her ultimate. So it tastes so good, uh, restores a certain amount of health. So she deals a lot of life, life steal and boost attack speed as well so this is where she shines the most um she's really hard to kill especially if um, she's leveled up up to three star peach um she's going to be good again for the mid game um definitely want to consider when you have her as well at number six we have sapphire so one of the two most uh, uh what do you call this one of the most uh value defenders uh one of the two value defenders as uh, supers so as you can see her um her ultimate is attacks the current target deals damage to it and reduces its attack by 20 percent so a debuff and also can can disarm the opponent right in front of him so she is very tough also grants a shield to all your figures at the start of the battle for 10 seconds so again um why would i bring other you know other figures when i can, could have a defender plus a shielder um uh, uh, you know as a figure all in one so again this is why she is also good the shield is also 15 percent strong when the shield holds increased defense by 35 percent so again please do consider her if you don't have um a defender yet especially when you are bringing in tenma at number five we have chris so chris one of um one of the most heavy hitting figures that we have at militarist so he is going to be arranged so enters a state uh in a berserker state for eight seconds for his this is his ultimate boosting the attack speed by 50 percent also at, attacks a deal deal a great amount of damage at the same time so again very good damage dealer um his use is mostly um dps in pvp so again, if you do still don't have a high DPS uh, figure, you may consider Chris. So um, for his passive, the first attack of the ultimate deals a large amount of extra damage. So again, he is going to be very good, especially in the lower levels from um, your beginner up to the mid-level part of the game. Okay, at number four, we have Minakami. So Minakami, um, at this point, when you are at the mid-game, highly highly um what they call this highly valuable in terms of clearing pve scenarios he brings a lot of summons plus the summons are ranged summons so again um th there's a big chance that the ra your ranged um what they call this your range summons will be able to last that long and um the clones also deal a lot of damage as well. So uh, highly sought after, uh, especially if you're going to be um, bringing in a summon team, um, Minakami can really be a part of that team. So again, he is at number four. Okay, we are now in the top three. And at third, we have Gweniera. So uh, people are sleeping on her. So no pun intended. <laughs> she has a pillow and she's she's sleepy as well or she just woke up so what makes her good is uh, attacks the current target and she is by the way defender um she also she she has a similar you know a function to sapphire but uh, for her she is she's focused more on her shield so attacks the current target and gains a shield that Absorbs the same amount of damage as the one dealt. The higher Guinera's max health is, the higher the damage dealt. That's the stronger the shield and will not be broken. Uh, lasts for 10 seconds. Grants a shield that absorbs damage equal to 50% of one dealt to all teammates in the same line. So again, 
very good kit. Uh, you can actually use her if you don't have a defender uh, to start with Let's Red. And um, her passive is grants a shield to its to itself and two random allies for 10 seconds. For the first time, health drops below 50. The shield will be adjusted by the figure's max health. So also at level 2, grants a shield for all your figures when the effect is triggered. So again, she we have to level up her your her skills for for all figures to have shields but definitely she is a you know i think for me the best shielder in the game for you know for the level of supers um you can really bring her up to the mid game so please do if you want to build a team for let's shred at number two we have kazui iwata one of my favorites when i started um, not only for her design or for how she looks, but definitely for the DPS that she really deals. She deals a lot of DPS, especially for her um, ultimate. Sometimes people would pair her together with um, Zarola for PV, for PvP. Um, again, her value is not limited to PvP. She is also good in PvE, especially if you early game you don't have Zarola yet. Uh, but you need that dps then th definitely she is one that you should go to okay so what can i say she is going to be you know um helping you that much up to the mid game so if you are with uh, let's red and if you want to grab a specialist kazooie iwata is the girl for you okay the top of our list and uh, again i think still number one is going to be yuki one of one of the toughest defenders that i've encountered even in pvp um again she she might be just uh, what they call this she might be just a super figure but definitely she can hold her own so for her ultimate attacks the current health reduces the damage taken by 10 percent um, level 2 boost damage by 15 reduce the damage taken by 20% for yourself and all teammates so who gives damage reduction to you know th this is a very very good skill and also her damage for ultimate is really really tough as well um, for her passive gains 50% damage reduction and raises the shield to reflect fixed damage for 3 seconds when healed by another figurine. When the shield is up, reflects damage to random surrounding enemies upon being attacked. So again, she has damage reduction to all. She has shield for herself and she has great damage for a defender. What again can you ask more of her? So if you upgrade this one, her passive boost damage reduction to... 18 and damage reflection by 15 and up to level 3 it's going to be 20 and extends the duration of shield up state to 4 seconds when healed so again damage reduction to everyone and shield to herself uh, one of the perfect example of a very usable uh, figure even exceeds up to beyond your mid game but unfortunately she cannot be she has a level cap that uh, all uh, what they call this all supers will have to suffer from so again if you don't have these units yet or these figures yet so you know which to pick you know which to level up and you know which to sacrifice for your ultra so again guys so thank you very much for staying this far so hope this helps uh, this helps you moving forward in terms of what to what are you deciding or if you are deciding on who to level up who to bring what uh you know what team build are they good for this list is definitely good for beginners so hopefully uh beginners out there will have a better chance of starting off strong okay guys thank you very much for staying this far and also please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot don't forget to click that bell icon when you do subscribe thank you very much take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here